people watching my audience that's watching right now these people that are inside the pyramid as you say do they know the absolute truth of existence they, do they understand how the matrix works or is or is or is it really a battle of good and evil it's a battle it is a battle of good and evil i it is a, it's a spiritual battle so they don't they don't really contain the truth then it's not like they're keeping the truth within themselves and not sharing it because that's how they control the power this really is an evil versus good uh, uh, dynamic here, right? That's what's going on here. It's both, David. So okay. they know the truth about about existence, reality. reality. Okay, it go. They go back to the ancient mysteries. So in the case of Aleister Crowley, he goes back to the Egyptian mysteries, but it also goes back to uh, to, to to Babylon. It goes back to the Greek and and the Romans. All of that. So th they have all of this stuff understood. That's what I'm saying. Their world is very different. They, they tell us that the mysteries and uh, the gods of mythology are all comic book types of stuff. You know, don't pay any attention to that. Those gods never really existed. That's something you go to a movie to go watch, you go, to go watch Thor as an example. Right, right. I never discount mythology because mythology through history going back to the ancients this was a way that they were able to express the the true structure of reality. See, the, the controllers want to put everything into the five senses. If you can't see it, feel it, it, it doesn't exist. And that's right. absolutely not true. So what they do is they keep information and truth from us. They know the truth. I'm not saying that, you know, uh, that they're using it for good. They're just keeping it from us. So that we don't get any smarter and we don't have any leverage in order to really be able to fight back the way we need to fight back. Even though we're making a lot of progress. I'll say that. A lot of people are becoming at least aware and there are those people who are becoming It's almost like me being an alcoholic is being aware of it. Understanding yeah. like that's a problem and then you can fix it. But you got to be aware of it first. Yes, you have to be aware of it first. You have to have that awareness. And from there, that's the first step on the ladder. And then you climb up the ladder and you, you get further and further down the road. You gain more and more knowledge, more and more wisdom, and you start to figure this whole thing out. So that's what they do. They keep information from us. And because they're occultists and because they go back to the ancient mysteries, um, they're also knee deep into magic and ritual. See, that's the other thing. A, a lot of folks don't believe that that stuff is is real they, that's, they think, that's where that's where you lose a lot of people right there yeah yeah you know they think it's just harry potter stuff but they practice ritual and occultism every single day every I mean, day i've heard even before they put an album out before they yes. make a movie they put a spell on that yes yes this was and something that, and that right there people just look at that they go oh I, i'm turning this off no <laughs> this is real no, I mean, it's look, when you try to explain to people about ritual sacrifice, they don't think that's real. If you try to talk to them uh, about uh, the trafficking, yeah. they don't think that's real. See, the problem is, is people, they disconnect from it. They go into denial. And many times it's because of the conditioning, because you've been told your entire life that that stuff doesn't really exist. And or... You do know it exists, but you have cognitive dissonance. You, you just don't want to. You just don't want to deal with it. It's just an overload. It's an overload on your it's psyche, all, and you just turn it, it off. It could become extremely overwhelming, and then people right. just get on with their lives. See, one of the tricks of the trade that the controllers do, part of their whole cultism and their ritual and their magic and all that stuff, is to keep you busy. It's to keep you busy with inane stuff. It's to keep you distracted. It's to keep you in front of your television set. It's to keep you engaged with music. It's to keep you worshiping the lesser gods. So the lesser bread, gods. Bread and circus. Bread and circus, right. right. So and that's why your, athletes are paid so much money yes. because they are the chesters. Or the yes. jesters. Is it jesters or chesters? The jesters, yes. Yeah, the jesters, yeah. So, but what happens is they, they people worship the the, uh, the athletes. People worship the politicians. People worship the, 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 uh, the Silicon Valley icons the so-called icons uh they worship their entertainers their celebrities they worship all of these people so when you worship folks 
what you're doing is you are disempowering yourself because you are giving up your authority. Can, can I just say something here? I think now it's gotten even worse in the last five years with Instagram, TikTok, yeah. uh, you know, Facebook, because now people are into self-worship. Everyone thinks they are a celebrity. You know, yes. it started with the reality shows, and now everyone thinks they have their own reality show on their Instagram channel or on their uh, Facebook or on their TikTok. It's got an everyone thinks they're famous, man. The narcissism is off the charts. Yeah, they're narcissists. It's a narcissistic society. That's what the that's what the controllers have created. So.